Next, let us move on to accommodation bills. <clears throat> the kind of bills that we have considered now are bills which are used to facilitate trade. That means when X sells goods, X makes a bill accepted by Y so that the debt, the money that Y owes to X can be paid after three months through the bill of exchange. It facilitates trades, it's proof of actual debt. Now suppose X needs money. X does not sell goods to Y but X is in need of money and Y is a good friend of X. So X might request Y to accept a bill which he draws. So let us say X draws a bill for rupees 50,000 and asks Y to accept the bill. So there is a bill for 50,000, no sale transaction. A bill has been drawn by X and Y has accepted the bill. What is the advantage? X can take it to the bank and immediately raise money. Let us say the bank discounts it and gives X 49,500. X will use this money for the three months, three months of the bill for the, till the maturity of the bill. Now this is a valid legal document though there is no underlying trade transaction. There is no trade, no purchase, no sale that has happened but still a bill has been raised. The bank when it discounts that bill will not inquire whether there was a sale transaction or a purchase transaction. There is an obligation, there is a debt, there is no debt, there is no obligation. The document is a legal document. And on the due date, Y must honor this bill. How will Y honor this bill? The understanding is that on the due date, X will send 50,000 rupees to Y, 50,000 rupees to Y, so that Y can pay 50,000 to the bank when the bank makes, when the bank presents the bill to Y for payment. So this is a kind of arrangement which can be made to raise finance. Bills are often issued, used to raise finance. But please remember, just because they are used to raise finance does not mean that they are not valid legal documents. The entries are the same, they are a proper document and the document has to be honored. On the due date, the acceptor must pay the money, whether he gets the money from X or does not get the money. <clears throat> Usual journal entries are passed in the books of the debtor and the creditor, in the books of X and in the books of Y, in the books of the creditor and in the books of the debtor. On maturity, the understanding is that the person who has drawn the bill will send the proceeds, will send the money to the acceptor so that he can honor the bill. Now these are called accommodation bills and sometimes we have mutual accommodation that is <clears throat> X may draw a bill on Y and Y draws a bill on X. So there are two bills, each of the parties have a bill, each of them can take it to the bank, discount it and get short term finance. Sometimes <clears throat> in this example where X drew a bill for 50,000. They might agree, X and Y might also agree to share the proceeds equally. In that case, when X discounts the bill for 49,500, he will send half of this money to Y. Therefore, he will send 24,750 to buy. 
X will also enjoy 24,750. Both enjoy 24,750 and a discount charge of 250 and 250. So proceeds and discount would both be shared equally. In this situation, in this situation, on the due date, in this situation, on the due date, Y again has to honor the bill. Remember, Y is enjoying 24,750. Actually, he has got 25,000. Benefit of 25,000. 250 is the interest cost, the discount charge. When the bill is presented for payment, he has to pay up 50,000. He would be at a loss of 25,000 unless X remits this amount to him. So, X has also been enjoying 25,000 rupees. He is supposed to send this 25,000 to Y. If he sends, everything is settled. Therefore, on the date, on the date of maturity, before the date, before the bill matures, X is expected to send 25,000, the amount which he has enjoyed to Y, so that Y is in a position to meet the bill with the amount of money which was sent earlier plus the money which he receives now. This is a typical arrangement in case of accommodation bills. The proceeds and the discount are shared in the same proportion. If the proportion of sharing the proceeds is 1 is to 3, the discount would also be shared in the ratio of 1 is to 3.